My name is James Williams Jr. and it has come to my attention that this is some shit that's been going on and I need to show you guys because it's better than me trying to tell you guys. And yeah, excuse the hair. Brace yourselves. My brother sent me this this morning. One of my brothers, anyway. HT. HT, I'm being dyslexic. Go ahead, spell it again, Kay. Yeah, black, legit, B L A C K, light, L I G, capital H T. Forgive me, I'm being dyslexic. Y'all know I'm dyslexic because I'm upset, and you'll see why I'm upset. Okay. Anyway, this cop is raping a black teenage girl. I want everybody to keep putting it up on YouTube to see how greasy these bitches get down. I can't keep watching the video, but I'm going to play the video. Okay, I can't watch it. Tell me when it's over. Now, while I'm not watching it, what y'all is watching is an actual rape. And if you pay attention to what he's doing, he has done this before. He's putting her in handcuffs and he's about to punch her in a minute. I'm about to explain the video. This motherfucker, this motherfucker don't realize he's being filmed doing that shit. I hope he loses his job. We got another Daniel Hulse club. Now, clearly, as we watch this unfold, there's something seriously wrong here. Serious. Lee wrong. Now, I don't know why there's no audio of the video, but clearly you can see him humping. And this is really fucked up. And my brother sent me this this morning by via a Facebook Messenger, and I've sent it to other people, and I'm highly upset. This dude highly deserves to get killed, upset. man, for what he did. See me if you did this to a She's white definitely teenage struggling. girl in the jail cell, he would automatically lose his job. Now if they let this man keep his job and let him get away from that shit. Somebody needs to find out where this motherfucker lives. It's in his fucking throat. And this ain't the first time he's he done. Her and damn I have head a sister into the that's wall. seventeen years old. I have a sister that's fifteen years old. That motherfucker tried to show my sister. I would kill that motherfucker. This pig rapes a fifteen, a, a, a seventeen-year-old girl in jail. A white pig, a upstanding pig. They keep trying to make these cops look upstanding. They keep saying, oh, there's a very small percentage. You well, there's that percentage right there. The fucking street, and then you got these racist white men with the badges raping us. And they've been raping, they've been raping black women for years. Now the camera is on them. He knows the camera is on him. He don't care. The reason why he don't care is because he knows that there is a system behind him. All that shit. He knows there's a system. I'm going to play that shit again. He knows there's a system behind him that will cover him. That's why they do the things that they do. You are looking at a live rape. All right? Mm -hmm. You got anything else to say before I cut this bitch off? If I can't really say nothing because looking at this video right here is fucking disturbing. Like, this dude is actually tying, putting this girl in handcuffs where she can't move and he's punching her in her rib cage. In the back like, of her see, head? He's punching her. And he's, he's play, he punching her again. This is just a crying shame. He's punching. And he's, and he's about to, this he's is why every little, police station needs an internal affairs office inside, inside their like police this station. Dude raping this little girl in the cell. They would straighten all this but shit. We got good cops. Every place with authority in it we should heard, have internal is, affairs in there. She got a jail, she's going to tell her parents that this. I'll get that motherfucker's name. I'll be like, okay, did you rape me? What's your name? I need to know your name. She needs to get that motherfucker's name. I'll get his first, his last name. Look at this motherfucker. I hope he didn't get her pregnant. Girl. I hope she knows some I hope he didn't give her any street, STDs. I'll find out where that motherfucker's staying and, and shoot his ass up. This is for fucked what he up. Fucking did. Now that girl, now that girl gonna need some to see a therapist for the rest of her fucking life. She go, she go. She She'll never trust cops see, again. That's young kids grow up and hate these fucking cops. I didn't know they got police officers raping little girls like that. They've been doing this, Kate. They, they was doing this shit before we had cameras. Now Big Brother is watching you. They watching everybody. I keep saying we are in the age of exposure. And I had bad experience with a cop when I was underage. I'm glad I ain't run to no rapist with a bad. I can't even watch this. This motherfucker is raping this girl. I can't watch it. It's disgusting. But I wanted to play it again. But hold on, let me say something again. Matter of fact, when this video gets over, I want everybody to take this video, show it on your Facebook page, your Twitter, your Instagram, your YouTube channel. I want everybody to talk about this shit. I want this motherfucker to get off the fucking forest. Off the force, he, he needs to be, to be put under a damn tombstone. That's 
Day you I'm sorry. Those. I can't yeah. watch this shit no more. Uh, I, think that's what we do. I, think that's what I gotta we do. stop this shit. I'm sorry. That's another day you help host. Stop, damn it. Now, clearly, you know, this ass hat has disarmed the uniform. And if they let him keep his job, there is no justice in the world. And this is why I tell people all the time that the law and justice are two different things. I said it before, I'll say it again. That shit there is unfucking acceptable. Unacceptable. This, this is the thing, you know, this is one of them times that make you ashamed to be a fucking man, you know? They're like, why is this, this, this shit shouldn't be happening? It should not fucking be happening. There's nothing I can do about it because I also don't know what state I'm in. But for my 21 followers who are watching me watch this disturbing ass thing and I'm going to cut this off before I break into tears and shit. Because I have sisters, man. I have nieces. You know, this is some fucked up shit. This is some fucked up ass shit. You just, you can't ever grasp the concept of the people who have authority, the people who are supposed to serve and protect, because that's their motto. They took the same motherfucking oath I took in the United States Army. To serve and protect against foreign and domestic terrorism. Well, that there was a blatant fucking act of domestic motherfucking terrorism. What's going on with that? Why in the fuck does this keep happening? You know, it's bad enough that they shoot the guys and they're raping the girls. What the fuck? You know, she might have some kind of STD now. She might be pregnant by this fucking Yahoo bastard. And it ain't about race for me. It's about right and wrong. I can see that he's a white man. I can see that the teen is of color. That's no fucking excuse. He has a badge. He don't need to be killed. He needs to be incarcerated for life. His badge, his pension... All that shit need to be stripped from him. Maybe if he has a daughter, maybe she can get the family pension, but she, this is just fucking fucked up. It's fucked up. Everybody who's watching this, my 21 followers, I know I don't have a lot of your support, and I have some of your support. I'm pretty sure if any of you voted for Trump, I probably pissed you off, so I might not have 21 followers anymore. But for whoever's still here, you gotta admit that that is morally wrong and it is completely unacceptable and that we as people have to fight to stop shit like this. I had a fairly rough night last night, but waking up and receiving this from my brother didn't help my day. No, nothing, I can't unsee that. And this is bullshit. It is straight up bullshit. No cop has that much motherfucking authority. No one. Not cops. Not judges. No one is above the fucking law. No one. And you know what? One day, that could be his daughter. That could be my daughter. It could be your daughter. And people like that need to be stopped. They need to be stopped, like, right now. Academies need to screen people more. Cameras need to be everywhere. Everywhere. And I'm sorry, ladies, you might not want to have people watch you take a pee or wipe your ass or any of that crap. But it's getting to the point where if this is going to be happening, you need those cameras in there. I'm sorry, you need them cameras in there. I don't want nobody watching me pee or wipe my ass either. But you know what? If it's going to keep me from getting sodomized, because I'm a little guy, big target on my back, the fact that I can fight don't mean shit. I mean, I'm going to have to kill that motherfucker. But, you know, still, that there is completely fucking unacceptable. There's no reason for that shit to be happening to anyone. Anyone. Rape is the worst crime ever. Rape, molestation, those are highly above murder in my book. And it's not because I'm a soldier. It's not because I was trained to kill. It's a fucking fact. There is no crime on this planet worse than rape. There is no crime on earth worse than rape. I don't give what nobody fucking say. Y'all can judge me all you fucking want. But I don't give a fuck. I got nieces. I got nephews. I love them all. I'll deny that shit in court. But that shit there is unacceptable. And that shouldn't be allowed to happen to anyone. Especially by a motherfucker wearing a badge and y'all think soldiers are bad because we go through some shit. This is a fucking cop. A fucking cop. He took the same oath of service as I took. It might be worded a little bit different. State to state, it's worded differently. But for the military, it's worded the fucking same. Foreign and domestic terrorism is what we fight against. That is a pure fucking example of fucking domestic terrorists by a motherfucker with a badge. A badge. If you ain't safe at church, that goes to prove everything I've said in most of my videos. If you ain't safe at church, you ain't safe no fucking where. Period. 
I'm James Williams Jr. and I apologize if I got a little bit mad. I'm about to start smiling and I got to stop before I wind up punching something and breaking something that I can't afford to fix. So, um, you guys take care and watch this video and it's, um, just type in New York cop rapes black teenage girl or jail cell. Um, this is sick. They keep track talking. They keep taking. I, it, it's got some dots in it, man. Um, there's like 15 different people talking about this shit. And we need to, to take this fight straight to the Supreme Court. Cops like that need to be screened. Cops like that need to not be cops. Period. I'm James Wim Jr. Come for Africa number two. And let's all say some prayers for that young girl, man. Because this is fucking ridiculous. This is fucking completely unacceptable. She might go off and commit suicide because of this bullshit. And that's not good, man. That's not good at all. I'm James Wim Jr. Come for Africa number two. Be seeing me.